Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! is one of the most popular and recognizable titles on the NES, and it's not hard to understand why. Basing it on the arcade game, and slapping Mike Tyson's name on the cartridge, this was sure to be a winner. Keep in mind this is pre-rape, pre-bite, and pre-financially fucked from drug money Tyson. This was the Mike Tyson that was tearing the heavyweight boxing world a new asshole. He was the undefeated champion of the world, and it looked like there was no end in sight. Enter Little Mac, a 17-year-old midget dropout punk from the Bronx who's mockingly nicknamed after a McDonald's hamburger. Mac is trained by the wise veteran Doc Lewis, who sees something in the little guy and decides he's going to give him his shot at climbing the ranks. So you fight as Little Mac, and all your opponents are ridiculously taller, stronger, and more physical than you. I've always been able to identify with Little Mac, as I was always the shortest guy in my class, and today I'm only 5'4", so nothing's really changed as far as having to look up at people. Anyway, Little Mac's greatest asset is his speed. You'll be dodging a lot of the opponent's attacks and counter-punching. The two meters in the top center of the screen are you and your opponent's life meters. Yours is on the left, the opponent's is on the right. If you time your shot just right, you'll get a star, which is stored in the upper left-hand corner. You can carry three at a time, and by pressing start, you can unleash a hellacious uppercut that'll take a lot of power away. But be careful, sometimes they'll dodge it, even after giving the initial jab to stun them. The heart meter next to the stars indicate how much energy you have. If a shot is blocked or if you take a shot, you'll lose hearts. When you run out of hearts, Mac will turn pink and have an asthma attack, trying feverishly to catch his breath. Your opponents will usually try to take advantage of this by attacking like crazy. Just keep dodging and pressing buttons to get your energy back. Fights go on for 3 rounds with an accelerated 3 minutes each. The three knockdown rules in effect for TKO, and when you go the distance, a decision is rendered. And yes, you can actually win by decision, although some fighters can't lose by decision. Oddly enough, Tyson isn't one of them. In between rounds, Doc will give you some advice, although sometimes it's not really all that helpful. Join the Nintendo Fun Club today? I don't need this advertisement bullshit, Doc. I'm trying to win the title here. Also, your opponent will fire some trash talk from across the ring. It's quite humorous. Also between rounds, if you feel like you need an energy boost, press select and Duck will, um, give you some relief with his hand. And you'll get an increase to your life meter. But keep in mind, you can only do this once per fight, and sometimes you'll get a shitty increase. Also, don't try this technique before round one. It'll give you a decrease in life. If you lose a fight, you'll either be ranked down or sometimes they'll challenge you to a rematch. If you lose three times, you'll be forced into retirement. There is a password system, but you won't necessarily continue at the last fighter you left off at. The game is broken up into three divisions, the Minor Circuit, Major Circuit, and World Circuit. After winning a Minor Circuit title, you'll get a pass key, and after winning the Major Circuit, you'll get a pass key, and so on. One funny thing you'll notice is that Mario is included as the referee. I tell you, Mario is the Mike Patton of video games. He's all over the place, even on side projects. The novelty of a Mario referee is really the icing on the cake. Graphics aren't amazing, but they fit perfectly in the cartoony arcade style that the game is. The controls are perfect. A and B are your punches to the body, and holding up while pressing A or B will throw shots to the face. Left and right dodge, pressing down blocks, and pressing down twice ducks. Although I haven't found a spot in the game I ever want to use it. There aren't a huge selection of songs in the game, but the ones that are will stick in your head. Especially the fight theme, since you'll be hearing it a lot. What makes this game so great is the gameplay. You're not mashing buttons like crazy. Instead, you have to know the tendencies of your opponent, as each fighter has their own routine, strengths, weaknesses, and special attacks. You'll need to play the game quite a bit to study your opponent, so let's take a look at it. Glass Joe is your first opponent, with a staggering record of 1-99. in All he ever talks about in between rounds is retiring, so you're gonna do him a favor and give him his wish. He just stands there most of the time. His pathetic offense includes a slow as molasses hook, a jab every once in a while, and a weak specialty move that sees him back up, taunt you, then come crawling in with the same hook he does the rest of the fight. Just dodge his supposed attacks, and if he's just standing there, throw punches at the area he's not blocking. He has virtually no defense. Also, when he comes in with his, um, specialty, hit him in the gut just as he makes it back to his stance, and you may be able to knock him out. Since you probably have never seen it before, this is the taunt that Glass Joe performs after he wins. 
The number one contender in the minor circuit is Von Kaiser. He shakes his head and follows it up with a jab. You can probably knock him down before he even gets to his uppercuts. Dodge it and alternate between lefts and rights and you should be able to knock him down without any resistance. Also, if you need a star, hit him in the gut as he winds up for his uppercut. But it may not prove to be necessary as he's a walk of the park. Piston Honda is the champion of the minor circuit, and really the first threat to punch out rookies. He'll twitch his eyebrows before throwing his jabs, and he's pretty slow when winding up for his hooks. He'll duck before his uppercut, which will give you about 11 counter shots to either the face or body. This routine isn't so hard at all, but his specialty will throw you off guard if you're not prepared. He'll back up and run back and forth before throwing a barrage of straight shots. Put up your dukes and block them all until he stops. Or better yet, hit him in the gut as he approaches you and he should tumble to the canvas. For wrestling fans out there, did you ever notice the resemblance between Piston Honda and The Rock? They kind of have the same look, there's the people's eyebrow, and look, even his specialty is very reminiscent of the people's elbow. Could it be possible that the most electrifying man in sports entertainment ripped off Piston Honda from Mike Tyson's punch out? Anyway, you win the minor circuit title, and now you need to train hard because you're moving up in the boxing world. And you know the proof? You're jogging in a pink sweatshirt and pants in New York and nobody's gonna fuck with you. So you get your first pass key and it's on to the major circuit. Don Flamenco has a very fast uppercut but that's all he has. So he'll start by taunting you and he'll do it all night if you let him. He'll take a swing, he'll block it and follow it up with his uppercut. Dodge it and alternate between rights and lefts and don't stop until he goes down. After he gets up, he'll try his uppercut right away. Dodge again and do the same and he should be knocked out as long as you haven't taken any damage. Next is King Hippo. King of what? The Hippo Islands in the Southern Pacific maybe? You know, I've searched on a map for the Hippo Islands. I always wanted to take a vacation there. Wouldn't it be interesting to see a bunch of hippo-human hybrids like King Hippo all in one place? Can never find it, so that train has sailed. Anyway, King Hippo will throw a lot of straights and protect himself with an insurmountable defense. That is, until he opens his mouth as he winds up for his haymaker. When he does this, punch him in the mouth and his trunks will slide down. Follow it up with 8 straight shots to the gut as he tries to pull them back up. Repeat the process until you knock him down, which he will not get up from. Ever. Even Mario gives him a chance, slowing down the count a little, but alas, he stays on the canvas. He does have a specialty, or at least makes you think that he does. After knocking you down, he'll jump around a few times, but then go back to his regular attack. Lame. Next up is the number one contender in the major circuit, Great Tiger. He's very patient and can drag this fight on if you let him. This might explain why 21 of his 24 wins were by decision. When the jewel on his turban flashes, he'll throw a quick jab before you can counter with one punch. He takes his time in between jabs and does 7 of them, so this will chew up some time. But if you want to hurry things along, throw a punch which he'll block and immediately throw his jab. Then he'll start his uppercuts. He alternates between rights and lefts. As he winds up to throw his uppercut, punch him in the gut in the direction his punch is going, and you'll get a star. If you punch in the opposite direction, he'll block it. Then after getting 3 stars, dodge his uppercut and give him a few shots to stun him to set him up for the uppercut. Continue this process until he performs his specialty, the magic punch. With this move, he'll teleport and whirl around the ring in crazy circles, throwing a barrage of quick jabs at you in the process. After a few of them, he'll get dizzy and one shot will send him to the ground. Ball Bull is the major circuit champion, and is one of the larger opponents in size. He'll start by throwing some jabs after rotating his fists in a circle. If you throw a punch at his face while he's winding up, you'll get a star. The timing between his hooks and uppercuts are much different from each other, as his hooks take more time to wind up, while his uppercuts come at you pretty quick. Give him a few shots to stun him after his uppercut, and use your star uppercut to put him down. After pissing him off a little, he'll back up to the ropes and utilize his deadly specialty, the bull charge. He'll charge at you and throw a powerful uppercut which will knock you down in one shot. After about the fourth jump, throw a shot to the gut that'll knock him down. You can dodge it, but he'll just back right up and try it again until one of you goes down or the round ends. Keep in mind, you can't defeat Ball Bull by decision, and you can't defeat him without beating his bull charge. So after you win, you'll get another training sequence, except now Mac is training all night to prepare himself for the top notch fighters in the world circuit. This is the exact same thing as the earlier jogging sequence except that everything's all lit up.